Hey guys, this is Abby, and in this video I'm going to be talking about what to feed a young rabbit. So I already covered adult rabbits in another video, so in this one I'm going to be covering rabbits from 8 weeks to 7 months. So like always, water should be fed unlimitedly, and you can provide water in a bowl or a bottle. I prefer using bowls, but that's just me. Some people like bottles better, but just make sure you always have fresh water available for your rabbit. Stormy, are you stuck? in the box? Do you need help? Next up is hay. Young rabbits should be fed unlimited alfalfa hay. Alfalfa hay has a lot more protein which is good for younger rabbits as they're growing but for older rabbits that much protein really isn't good for their system. When they're young you really should feed alfalfa hay or a mixture of alfalfa hay and timothy hay or something like that. And at seven months, you should start switching over to timothy hay. You don't have to switch over really quick. You can do it over a month when they're like six to seven months old. But just make sure they're eating plenty of hay. Next up is pellets. You should feed unlimited alfalfa pellets to your bunny up to seven months. But now this doesn't work for everyone. Sometimes a rabbit will just eat way too much pellets and they won't even touch their hay, which really isn't the best thing even for baby bunnies. They really should be getting more used to hay than pellets. So when Storm was a baby, I limited his pellets quite a bit because he would just eat too many and it caused problems. And I even ended up switching him over to Timothy pellets when he was only about four months old instead of seven months because they just really weren't working well for him. So it's really different for everybody. You can find what works best for you. Some people feed unlimited and their bunny does fine with it. But for some rabbits, you may have to limit it down to to half a cup a day. They may eat way too much. There are tons of alfalfa pellets out there just because it's the most common. If you want a more high quality one, I would get Oxbow. And just make sure your pellets do not have any other stuff in them besides the pellets. And as for veggies go, I don't have any left, so this tiny little piece is all I have to show. At 12 weeks, so three months old, you can start introducing veggies in very small amounts obviously bigger than this and just give a little bit a day like maybe four times this size but just give a little bit and wait a day or two see how they react to it if they like it if they don't if it upsets them at all and you can slowly build up that veggie over time you have plenty of time to introduce veggies and once they take a liking to a veggie you can try another veggie just the same way just little bits just keep introducing veggies and by the time they are 10 months to a year old you can feed the full amount of one cup per three to four pounds that your rabbit weighs. It's really nothing to worry about introducing, but once you get started and you just don't worry about it that much. And as for treats go, you really don't have to feed many treats, just tiny pieces of carrot or teeny tiny pieces of a store-bought treat from like Oxbow is really all they need. Rabbits really don't need treats at all, and some rabbits respond really negatively to any sugar, but feeding a little bit of fruit or carrot as a treat really won't hurt them and it is fun to give your rabbit a treat that they go crazy over every once in a while. Hey guys that was it for this video. I'll have some links down below to some web pages if you want to read a little bit of what to feed your rabbit. Anyway guys I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye!